I just built myself a new Acrylix B version of Cinnamon, but this time a minimal one. And let's have a sneak preview of what does it look like, how uh, does it uh, respond and all that. So, I have my virtual boxes ready, lots of virtual boxes there, and there is a new Cinnamon Minimal somewhere on my machine, so I navigate to it. And it's in the Arc Linux B out folder, there is this new thing, and it's 18, 5 o'clock, yes, that's correct, that's the last one. And it's version 1901 that I'm booting up. So when you build an Arc Linux B version, you always build it upon the template of Arch Linux. And Arch Linux is the one having XFC Openbox i3. So what we do is we get rid of a few of these building blocks, like Openbox and i3 for sure, and then still leave some of the elements in to have an XFC delivery system. So some way we have to get the system onto your SSD or onto your a hard disk and this is what we use calamari is a graphical installer and this what we load up is a particular small piece of xfc so we use xfc as delivery system fine then it's up to you to decide about the language so you choose the language to you want to have and then go to next you'll see that these, um, this geo IP thing will work or will not work. It just depends on the server, if it's working or not, if it's down or not. So otherwise you just choose your continent and zone, but I know where to click on the card on the map and it's okay. You can set some more uh, well settings here for the language, if you like, or the numbers and the dates locale can be changed here as well. For instance, when we choose for uh, Belgium, when I set everything to Belgium, it's going to think I'm a German. So no, I have to change it here. So next up is what's most important for me. It's my keyboard. So Azerti, better be sure to select here the proper thing. Otherwise you will have to set it up later. Next, I'm gonna erase everything and give him the swap he wants. And then next, what's your name? I'm gonna call it Arclinux B, otherwise it's gonna be too long. Uh, cinnamon, minimal, right? And then using my login without asking password, this will not work, there's a reason for it, and then use the same password. Next, install. So basically, people who are complaining, hey, I don't see anything, what's this? Well, it's XFCE, it's Tunar, it's there, we can work it on it if we are developing we have a file manager we have a terminal we can do stuff in it and see what um, is wrong with it etc but it's basically not necessary to go in here you just have to wait until the installer has finished so that's exactly what i'm going to do right now as well all right everything installed fine what i'm going to do is say done and then stop this system so shut down this virtual box we are in virtual box i'm gonna wait for it to shut down and get rid of the iso it depends sometimes he's waiting for something or monitoring something and if it does not happen the automatic shutdown you just say up here kill it so power of the machine and then get rid of the iso in here so we end up when with a grub control F so the right control F is going to full screen and like I said there is no auto login because LightDM is created for Arco Linux which logs you in with XFC so the only thing you have to do and it's explained on many occasions in videos is just uh, make sure that you have not XFCE but cinnamon set because this is cinnamon not XFCE let's make it a little bit nicer with a click here everything is fine and it's Arch Linux it says okay so continue working here Arch Linux B it's cinnamon and this is minimal right 
So we will see in the video what we're working on. So like I said, this light DM, it's not that difficult. Go to etc, light DM, and in the lightdm.conf, open it up, say plain text, Perl, which makes your life easier. Everything that's white is used and all the rest is rubbish. You don't need it. So cinnamon, yeah, that's true if you are, are on Apple Linux. But this is the B version. So it's just a word you have to change, two words you have to change. Making a package for it seems a little bit awkward. Done. We will auto login in cinnamon from now on. Now we can have variety is installed and um, it is the standard wallpaper, but of course there are so many beautiful wallpapers in there. So this is better. So this is now Ctrl or T. This is now uh, your Cinnamon 4.08 or 408. And it's only 897, let's say 900 packages installed. So not much is installed. Let's quickly have a look. So accessories, we need the MinStick, etc. Variety, Konkizen is there. The disk is there, internet, just one browser, programming, genie, sublime text, and melt to compare, sound, VLC, and that's basically it. There is no for nothing for music. Well, VLC, but that's it. Cheap parted system monitor is here, termite. So it's really, really, really not that much. And this results in a 1.4 gigabyte ISO, which is already quite a bit. But as you see, there is not much software. This is the standard stuff from um, well, Cinnamon settings. So we could change a lot of things. Um, it feels good. It feels fast. So we can change elements, uh, effects we can change here as well. And some themes you can change around if you want to have something totally different. We can choose, I don't know, never choose Sardi or Colora. Let's take that one. Arc Dark can be chosen, but nothing is installed. So it's a minimal, minimal thing. Only the Sardis are here. Breeze Snow is here. And the Breeze, so we can go to a dark one. And the Arc Dark. So it's completely, well, yeah, we could do that. So we can install some Adapter Nocto, stuff like that. But basically, this is now our new look. Other icons that we've chosen. And the wallpaper that we have, we changed here a little bit, there a little bit, but basically it's still very minimal. You change anything you like and, and you do but that by changing actually the Apple Linux B um, packages list and add something on there. You could go for your own scripts, install scripts from AOR or from Arch repo, it doesn't matter where it's coming from, just run your scripts. And then you have, of course, uh, even more software that you like, that you prefer to have. There's, uh, well, let's do this little tip for is it the other one? And Windows tiling. So maximize instead of tile is on, which is super, because if you double click, I always like it to be double clicked and then go to the top works as well. So these settings are on at this point in time in this version, which is super. I always had to go there and change it. Done. Never change it again. And all the rest, of course, you'll gather. And there are, of course, articles on Vivaldi, Arc Linux, D. So we're working on, on Cinnamon. Basically, you go and have a look at all the Cinnamon articles. See if it can help you. A lot of elements here, information about cinnamon. And if you say, I want to have this, I want to build this, because it's not on SourceForge yet, build it yourself. So Arch Linux B is here, build it your own IC, build your own ISO is here, and the minimal one is here, and the other one is here. So this is two gigabyte, this is less, so less software, of course, and this is what I created with some desk flats, I think it's called. Let's see what it's called again. Right mouse click, desklets, right? 
So you can add stuff like more or less like conkeys. It's not a conkey S per se, but it's something similar. It's nice. It's it's on the screen. It sits there and it's it's awesome. You can download lots of stuff. Caches out to date. Of course it is. So you just click on it. It's not that difficult. Double click on it and or install it. Let's see. Well, it's done. It's there. Manage. Click here. Say a plus. There you go. You have it. And you put it whatever you want it. So go and have fun. First of all, build it yourself. So first you have to think you have to do is to follow the tutorial, which is here. And then, then it's up to you. Then you can have an ISO and um, make it nice, make it beautiful, tweak it any way you like. Cinnamon is a great desktop. I've been working on it on Linux Mint for years, supporting it with um, lots of tutorials. So if you have um, more questions than I than I've uh, explained here, there's also everydubois.be, my personal website, which has a lot of information about Mint in general. So installation of Linux Mint, Linux Mint Cinnamon, Mate, XFC, lots of stuff is in here um, just about Linux Mint. So if you just maybe it's a good thing to do, type Mint, see what I get. Scroll, 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 nine pages of, um, I think it's um, 10 or 15 articles per page. I don't know. So anyway, a lot of information just about uh, Mint somewhere. The word Mint is in here. Okay, so um, enjoy this new ISO. It's Article Links B Cinnamon Minimal. You decide what goes on it, run a script, you have an ISO, have fun with it.